just caught me out. Behind the scenes shoots today. Bit of chest happening and what we're doing is doing some behind the scenes video work for some new projects that are going on since while we're out of the gym. So if you guys saw a bit of the last one, I'll break it down a bit further today for you. Back at Palace. We're back at the Palace doing a debrief. Now we went through today and did chest workout. Um, you guys know me by now. Should have been following me long enough. But uh, you know, I like to have a lot of behind the scenes projects, and that's what I'm doing at the moment. Hence, why I'm training at the gym. Uh, we're doing a bit of a bodybuilding.com feel. So yeah, it's hard. Like it's, it's one of those things I got to do where you know I'm out of my comfort zone training, but. You're doing a lot of tutorial videos and things like that as well. You know, it's all, it's all worth a lot. And we've got through a really intense chest workout today. Intensity is building up, obviously, because week to week, as I release these profile videos, that, um, you know, I'm going to be up in the intensity as well, kind of like it would be like a prep or an off season or whatever it is. Um, I don't want to give too much weight to you guys. But, yeah, I've got to be, I've got to be increasing the tempo each week. So. That's more to come, and uh, I've got 12 weeks of that, so it's, it's a lot of hard work, but... Look, I find that when we're going through these instances where I get a lot of talk and, and questions asked from you guys on how do I keep motivation, and how does my motivation uh, get affected? There's, there's, there's plenty of ways I think being affected with my motivation. For example, right now, as I said, I'm training in my comfort zone. You know, I'm doing something where I'm not able to train and focus on my intensity and what I want to do with my heavy and hard lifting in my own training environment. I'm going to be stopping, mic, uh, microphone on, talking, explaining, which is that's a distraction too. Over time, you know, you feel like you're not getting your best workouts in. And um, to be honest, I'm actually training really, really hard. It's just that, you know, you feel like, oh, am I talking too much or whatever it is, you know, that things are lacking for anyone. Um, I'm training at a different time of the day, you know, so again, that throws my meals off, you know, so when you have these other things thrown off in your life, where you might have extra work, you might have family commitments, kids, family, girlfriend, whatever, um, what tends to happen is the lack of motivation starts to start to compound, and that's why I don't really like to use motivation, you guys ask me about, you know, motivation, how I keep it, but again, I've said this many, many times before, and that's, you know, when it comes to motivation, motivation is emotion, depending on how you feel at a certain period of time. Um, hell, you know, like I can see some bad stuff written about me on the internet, for example, and I can have people, you know, talking their talking their shit or whatever they want to talk, um, and you know, that, those things can get down too. You know, I'm still human. The, 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 the things that these people say and, and, and I still see, like, yeah, I might not respond, but the reason why I don't respond, but you know, those things they they can still hurt you too. And sometimes, you know, you ask yourself that question, you go, fuck, like. I'm doing the right thing by everyone, or I'm trying to do the right thing by everyone. How can people are still shooting down for it? You know, you know. So, how do we keep the sense of engagement where we're trying to keep that tunnel vision going at all costs? So, let's start. You know. So for me, um, it's so easy for these little little niggles to come in. You know, like last night actually, uh, I had a lack of sleep. I I just couldn't get that back to sleep. And to me, honestly. I feel like that's a warning sign for myself that I have a lot of things going on. And they don't have to be negative things. They can have, they can be positive things. And I do have a lot of positive things going on. And I have a, a few other things, you know, that I can, can't disclose just yet. Um, but, you know, they're going to be coming out and it's very, very stressful. Although things are great and going well, they can be equally as stressful. So how do we, you know, we, we need to be looking at things and, and, and learning how to prioritize our, our activities, our goals, our targets, um, and all that kind of stuff moving forward. So, look, once you kind of prioritize these things and we put them into play, it's it's very easy to see things from an outside perspective, okay? So, an easy one to always talk about is people getting you down, okay? So people getting you down might not be your worst enemy, it could be your family and friends, because your family and friends, they want you to choose your safe option. They don't necessarily want you to take 
the the risk, you know, like I know I I uh, I can't turn my silver silver engineering degree, and when I realised what I truly wanted to do, and I said, no, nah, I don't want to be a silver engineer, screw that, you know, um, people laughed at me. Why would you want to be a PT? Why would you want to do that, you know? And at the other day, I'm doing things that makes me happy. How how in the hell are you ever going to stay motivated if you aren't doing something that truly makes you happy, you know? And you need to treat those things to say, you know, it's not about what I want to do now. You know, you've got to find a little bit of ego in yourself too and say, fuck them, I want to prove them wrong. People people look at things the wrong way and they say, oh, you know, don't use negativity. Don't don't look at things to prove people wrong um, just to get a certain way. Yeah, you've got to use that shit. You have to use that shit. Like, you know, for the, for the majority of when I finished high school, I had a bad breakup in high school. And that bad breakup in high school was when um, I had... My girlfriend at the time, she actually uh, went behind and uh, slept with two of my best friends and had a, had a big fall out there. And um, yeah, fuck that broke my heart, you know, it broke my heart at all, in all aspects. I lost my two best mates, um, you know, separate times when I found that out, and obviously her as well. And what I did when I finished school, I kind of said to myself, I said, look, it's, you know, I did go, and I'll be honest, I went down that path of like, you know, trust no one and all that fucking bullshit you hear about now. You don't get anywhere doing that, okay? So don't go that path. But look, like, you know, what, what did I do, okay? I said, you know what, like, I'm gonna use that energy and fire and that anger to help myself succeed, okay? And although it was driven to the wrong areas where I was gonna go down and become a civil engineer, that still gave me that drive to be a bodybuilder, they gave me the drive to train hard, they gave me that ambition to, you know, fuck them, I'll prove them wrong. You know, they don't want to respect me in that way. Um, you know, they don't want to be loyal to me in that way and, and have my back and those kind of things. Like, yeah, fuck it, I'll use it. I'll use that for a couple of years when I finish school. You know, I did, I used that as my uh, sense of drive to get myself ahead. And you, you need it, if, if you have a bad breakup, you lose a job, you, you lose a, a grand final. Um, you get second place in the bodybuilding show, you get last place in the bodybuilding show. Hell yeah, use that fire, use that pain. Because when you're sitting there and you're trying to dig deep, you think, what the fuck am I doing this for? Well, shit, that's why you're doing it, you know? So you're not doing it spitefully or maliciously to say to prove them wrong, but you're using that energy and the fire and that feeling. Like, do I have anything against them? Fuck no. I'm, 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 I, when I still run into those two guys that were mates of mine in high school, like, I'm, I, I've, got, I've got nothing against them. They were young, they were kids, you know, who gives a shit? But, you know, yeah, I, I, I didn't hold anything really against them either after, you know. It was just more the fact that I really used that ambition and drive and channeled it exactly from those feelings, okay? So, you know, I always say, you know, you need aggression. And yeah, you do need aggression in life. That's not when you walk around the street trying to fucking fight everyone, okay? Use the aggression, what I'm trying to say is that, you know, you need to use that energy and drive to get yourself up in a bed in the morning, okay? Because when, when I say to myself, you know, I'm doing what others won't. How many of your friends, including yourself, watching this video, have a bad breakup you know to get out of bed the next day? Okay? How many people lose their job and they think, shit, I don't want to get out of bed tomorrow? So, how can you look in a different way? Okay? And when I say have a look in a different way, people say, oh, but I can't look in a different way. That's fucking bullshit too, because I guarantee if you went in your bank account right now, okay? And you had a big night out in the piss on the weekend or whatever you did, right? And you got to check your bank account. And it sits there and, and um, you're like, oh, I'm, I'm scared there's going to be no money in there. But you go in there, there's an extra 500 bucks for your kid. Well, you're going to look a bit different. Your mood's going to change suddenly. Okay, so what I'm trying to say is that you have the power to use those feelings on how you want. Okay, you, for, for the only reason you can change that feeling in yourself when you saw that bank account money and that extra money coming in was that extra money coming in. So think about it, right? Your mood just shifted from, oh shit, I've got no money, I'm depressed, to fuck you, I've got 500 bucks. <laughs> what can I go spend it on? Um, no, don't do that. But, you know, that's what I'm trying to teach you guys here. You know, you have the power in how you use these results and these, um, these turnouts of a problem. And you can determine and channel that energy into the way you train. I do it all the time. <clears throat> how do I think my max set? I think about every dickhead that's talked about me in the past. I think about every dickhead that told me, uh, I, you guys are hearing in my voice says all the time. You know, all the people that said I was never going to win a bodybuilding show, all the people that said I was never going to turn pro, and all that kind of bullshit. You know, I get people trying to tear me down all the time. And tearing me down all the time, you know, that's the kind of stuff that I look at myself and I see it and I love it. 
I see it, I'm like, man, the people talking at me again. They want to see me fail, but I'm not like everyone else. Okay, just like how I want to get up in the morning, in the morning when I've um, had a bad breakup or I've lost my job. I want to get up in the morning because no one else will. So what everyone else would do would be to respond to hate mail or respond to the negative bullshit that people put on them. Instead, me, myself, I kind of sit there and say, no, nah, I'm not going to do what everyone else does. I'm going to get that. I'm going to take it, I'm going to put it inside me, and uh, I'm going to get fucking trained. Or I'm going to go stick to my diet. Or that's the reason why I don't cheat on my, my, my diet as well, because when I get all my meals in, and, you know, I'm just a bit hungry for whatever reason, I want to go cheat on my diet, I'm not going to do it, because that's what everyone else would do. Okay, so you can kind of see where the normal person does everything that I predict that they're going to do because I guarantee you've done it and I'm not having any dig at you watching this video because I've done the same shit. The person I'm talking about right now is me. I've done that same stuff in the past. What I did different than everyone else and why I am where I am and why people say, fuck me, mentality, you know, this and this and this. That's all bullshit. You know, you got to see things in a different perspective, you know, and that's how for me when I jump up in the morning and I want to attack the day and I think about all those things. No, I'm not using that negative mindset in my head all the time, but that'll eat you up, okay? I don't respond to stuff in the net. But I, I, I've told you guys this before in one of my videos, you know, like I, I get hate mail, I get stuff sent through me all the time, you know, and for me, I just see it as positive. I say, shit, you know, at least they're talking about me. You know, they're talking about me because I'm doing something right. If I was some fat loser in the gym and I wasn't really going anywhere, uh, and there's plenty of them in your gym, no offense to them, but there is, you wouldn't notice it, right? But as soon as a dude like me walks to the gym or as soon as a dude like me does something wrong, it's like, oh, look at that roided up idiot over there, you know, he's this, he's that, he's this, he's that. You know, as I said, one of those one of those fat guys can drop the dumbbell on the ground, throw it on the ground, they'd be like, oh, you know, look, you do this, is trying hard with me. If I went to the same thing, yeah, shit, I, I, get a lot of, I get a lot of hate my way. So of course, you know, as you progress, people will always want to shoot you down for whatever reason. So. They're going to stereotype you, you know, people um, are going to say this about you, you're going to help people out as much as you can. They're still going to shit on you. Do I hate those people that shit on me? No. I feel sorry for them because they're the same people doing the same thing day in, day out. You know, there's people that I've, I've been working with and, you know, they've been doing the same shit for 10 years. I've surpassed them when I was a natural athlete back when I was 40 kilos lighter. And here I am progressing in my own world. Why? Because they're choosing to be like everyone else. They're choosing to let all these other instances in their life progress through and attack them and put them down. So that's been happening for a number of years for them and that's why they begin to hate on someone like myself. They choose to hate on someone like myself because they can't be accountable for their own actions. They can't understand that what they're doing is using the wrong perspective on when they see a result. Guys, understanding perspective is the biggest thing. Okay, and understanding perspective is what changes your motivation. We have different things that we kind of line ourselves up towards with motivation. And don't go out there searching for it. Create yourself in a routine. As I say, there is no such thing as motivation. There is discipline. So create this as a discipline. Don't make your discipline as something as, oh, I've got to do my cardio because that's what my coach told me to do. Or follow my diet because that's what my coach told me to do. Yes, that's a form of discipline. But start training yourself now. Start training yourself to see that when you get something bad, learning how to channel it in the right areas. Start to use those in the areas that you're most weak at. Okay? It goes a lot more further than just understanding or trying to find motivation because you can watch plenty of these videos. You can watch my video right now. Okay, you walk outside, you got a flat tire, you forget about my fucking video, and you're gonna think, shit, I got a flat tire, this is shit, how am I gonna get through this? Why does this always happen to me? I was on the way to the gym, why is my life so shit? Okay, so I guarantee you that's what you you would have done when you walk out of this situation here now, where you're at work or you're at home or whatever it is, and watching this video, you walk outside, you got a flat tire, that's what you're gonna think. Why? Again, because I've done that before too. Understand that you need to love these challenges coming your way. You love these challenges because it's going to be a new way for you to learn and grow. And yeah, you might fail the first time, but you've got to understand that it's all a learning curve. Remember, when a baby is born, how many times they fall over before they're fully walking? Okay, so I'm not going to say you're going to get a first go. Understand that. Okay, but understanding how to channel this energy is where you're going to keep your source of motivation. Hope you took a lot out of today, guys. As always, I'm still running my 20-minute Skype consultation for free as a give back to you guys, okay? So remember that. Always comment on this video with some further questions for me. 
for content. Thanks again, guys. Until next time, I hope you enjoy my afternoon. So, we out.